Yeah, I, mean, um, uh, I, I know you were asked a bit about some of the newcomers in the squad. Can I immediately ask you specifically about Marcus Smith, how you thought he went in the summer and just the prospect of working with him this autumn? Yeah, no, he's, he's obviously an, a, a, a massive a massive talent um, and, and, a, and, a, and a very exciting player. Um, I've we've worked we've worked together before. He's been in, he's been into camp before um, when he was a bit younger. Um, shared shared a room together and things like that before before in the past. Uh, and it was good to get to know him a bit better over the summer. Um, he's a he's a he's a brilliant lad and he's he's um, not not just a very talented player but a, a proper a proper student of the game. Um, and that that sounds that sounds a bit. A, a bit cliche, but um, I mean, I mean, he's 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 really bothered about getting better. He's really bothered about understanding the game game more, um, and he and he loves he loves chatting about rugby. Um, so so that that made it easy for for me to get on with him. And 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 you sort of alluded to it there, but there's uh, I guess a side of him where he's at quite a young age, willing to come in and speak up, and in the sort of role he'd be in, you know, willing to sort of you know, give instructions and, and, and sort of impose himself in that sort of environment. Is that what you found that he's quite, you know, for such an early age, he's 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 confident to come in and, and, and speak up, you know? Yeah, yeah. He, he seems he seems like he's confident because to me it seems like because he's done the work, um, because because he understands the game, because he he knows exactly what he what he wants to get out of it. Um he speaks when he speaks, he speaks he speaks sense. Um and and that that obviously that obviously helps your your, your confidence and and um, helps when it helps when it comes to um, playing in the position that that he does and and he's obviously doing that really well at the minute. And lastly, from me, you obviously know George Ford over so many years, and you you had such a I guess an innate understanding between you when you're playing together. Does that take time if you're playing with someone new? Is that going to take a while? Can it click quite quickly from training? What was your sort of expectation of that process you know um I, I, I think it can do but doesn't have to i don't think um i, I think we, as I, as i said we same would have been with george it's not i know i know me and george played together for a long time but we we were constantly um uh, chatting and that's why that's why i'd said that we had a we had a good understanding and, and marcus seems marcus seems that in, in Marcus seems that he likes doing that anyway. He likes talking about rugby. He likes he likes to understand the game. He likes to um, he likes to prepare prepare as best he possibly can. Um, and that that for such a, a a talented player who can unlock a game himself um, is is obviously is obviously a brilliant balance to have. I'll let someone else jump in. Thanks. Uh, hi, Owen. Um, just um, it's obviously a different looking squad that you're with at the moment. Um, when you lose uh, close mates, club mates like uh, the Vunny Polars and briefly Jamie, um, do you, does that make you think about your own position a little bit and your own um, sort of vulnerability as such? No one's undroppable. I've never, I've never thought, I've never thought no one was undroppable. No, you, you always have to, you always have to, to work hard to to be to be in this team. You always have to work hard to be, to play in to play in these games. Um, and uh, and and that's that's never going to be any different. Um, so, as 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 I said before, we're excited about about what's coming up. We're excited about what's in front of us, and uh, do everything everything we can to make sure we play well. And have you any thoughts on on ten twelve? Obviously, you're talking there with Chris about um, you know uh, working with Marcus. Are, are you bothered about ten twelve that uh, way you start? Me, I'm only I'm only bothered about working hard for the team and making sure that I'm I'm doing the best I can for the team. Um, and whatever whatever um, fits best for the group, that I'll I'll be happy with. And just finally, do, how exciting do you envisage this England backline being? And, and do you see you playing uh, a little bit of a different style of rugby to what you have done over the past couple of years? I, I, yeah, I think I think hof, hopefully we'll we'll bring something um, a bit different. We've got we've got new coaches. Um, we've got obviously obviously new players, and, and we and, and we want to evolve. Um, you know, I, I, I don't think 
I don't think the games always turn out exactly the way that everybody wants them to, in, including ourselves. Um, but what we'll be doing is pushing, is pushing to make sure that we get better. Thanks, Neil. Yeah, um, three interesting teams this season. Obviously, you know plenty about Australia and South Africa, but Tonga, what's your take on them? Um, ex exactly, exactly what 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 you'd expect from Tonga. I think from our, from from our point of view is that they're a very proud, physical nation um, that lo that love the rugby um, and expect a, a, a passionate team to be coming to Twickenham um, next week. And obviously, you, you, playing Australia and South Africa as often as you do, does it does it ever get stale? Or um, what's your feeling about those two? No, no, it definitely doesn't get stale. Um, we we love playing against the best teams of, of which they they certainly are at the minute. Um, as well as it's not it's not happened it's not happened for England for a while now. I know I know you're talking about maybe maybe things that's gone on in the summer, but for, as as this team that we are together now we've, we've not played any team from the southern hemisphere for a while now so it'll be good to get them back back up north and um back to back to full crowds which we're, which we're all massively excited for thank you very much thank you there we go sorry owen um england won success last uh, won silverware last autumn so what would success be this time around um we, we want to improve we want to get better obviously we talked about this this team now, now kicking on, but um, ult ultimately we want to win. We we want to we want to play well and we want to win. Um, what and that 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 could be that could be in any which way, but we obviously want to evolve our game, like I said. So so we'll see we'll see as the game comes round how they how they play out. But we want to make sure that we're we're fighting to win these games. On the three opponents, Tonga, Australia, South Africa, they all play very different ways. That they give you very different challenges week in, week out. Is that maybe the best thing about the Autumn Internationals? And you get such varied opposition, that, and they test every facet of your abilities. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's 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 a good part of it. Yeah, I, there's, I think, I think all the best team best teams in the world play play a little bit differently. Um, they all have their own identity. Um, they all they all try and play the game in in, in a certain way. Um, and obviously, we try to do the same. Um, and we'll obviously look at look at opposition and see and see where see what we can do to to have and nullify our, our put our, our put our game on them. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's a great challenge as 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 always is after especially after the. The, the champ they come off the back of the championship and, and having played a, a, a quite a bit of rugby together uh, we've got to make sure that we get up to speed quickly so so we're ready for it the premiership has gone full jua jua this year international rugby has traditionally been a little bit more conservative what do you think needs to happen for, for that sort of premiership style to kick into these international games um I'm not sure. We'll see what the weather's like in the autumn first. Um, <laughs> no, the, the Premiership. The, the Premiership normally starts off pretty fast. Um, it normally it normally ends up fast, and obviously, you had that finish to the Premiership last year, which was which was obviously high scoring as well. Um, but but the the big the big thing for for us as a team is yeah we want to make sure we involve yeah we want to we want to be aggressive in the way that we play where that we play but we've got to make sure that we're able to play any which way the game presents as well you hear me all right yeah got you hi owen um just on marcus smith i mean how good is he how good could he become could he become one of england's great number 10s yeah no he's he's obviously he's obviously very good um as as as, as i've already said before he's he's is someone that can unlock a game himself, um, but got a brilliant eye for how, how to make a team work as well. Um, so, so that sort of balance, that sort of balance, you want to make sure that he he keeps um, and and he's got the attitude that'll do that that'll do that for hopefully a long time. Yeah. And how big a role could you play in bringing him through, settling him in 
the number 10 jersey outside and with all your experience, how do you see that role personally going? Um, no, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to help uh, wherever. And obviously, um, like I said before, he, Marcus, Marcus is someone who loves talking rugby, um, loves, loves chatting about the game, loves trying to understand the game a bit better, hopefully. And, um, you know, if if I can help him do that in any way, in any way possible, I'd, I'd I'd love to. And finally, from me, from the outside, this squad's being described as a bit of a revolution. How does it feel for you, without some of the big names there and with all these young faces? Does it feel like a new era for for this team? Um, yeah, I, yeah, I guess I guess so. I think I think the 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 team that's together now has hopefully got a brilliant blend to it. Um, of, of, of experience and youth uh, and that and that's exciting for for what's in front of us um I'm sure I'm sure some other people will still have some some bits to say about that as well um but but we're looking forward to to getting together as, as quickly as we possibly can and and not feeling our way in but throwing ourselves into what's in front of us now can I just ask what, what was your reaction when when you learned that um George and Jamie initially, and and Billy and Mako, four very close friends of yours, weren't in the squad. Were you surprised, saddened? Um, I don't know about my, my reaction at the time. And no, I obviously obviously spoke to spoke to them when they had chance, and and um, saw saw who they were um, because obviously obviously never nice. Um, but but the way that the way that they responded i think has been has been brilliant was it something you saw coming at all after uh, the situation that, that there would be these quite seismic changes no i, I don't I, I don't expect anything from a from a squad announcement anywhere I, I don't i don't expect um any anybody to be in you're obviously waiting for a phone call to see if, to see if um to see if you're you pick yourself, so um, you want to make you want to make you don't want to expect too much and 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 see what comes when the squad's announced. So, so were you nervous yourself coming coming into the squad selection time? Uh, same, same as always, same same as every every squad. You've got to make sure you've got to make sure that you that you deserve to get picked. So um, it would have been the same as same as every squad announcement. Hi, Owen. How's it going? Good, thank you. Yeah, just wanted to ask you another one about um, Marcus. He would have come into a training camp in 2016 when he was at, still at school. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, I do. I do. In Brighton. What, was, yeah. what do you remember about that? From yeah, I think it was 2016 in the summer. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I was at that camp because I remember. I remember him. I remember because I can think of. I can think of the the. The photos and things after, and he was he was with he was spending time with George, and obviously George George got to know him a bit then. Um, and he did, I think he did a bit of kicking with George at the, at the time. So I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure for some reason that I was there. Okay, um, when you've watched his games recently and spent time with him out in South Africa and a bit more recently, do you admire his competitive streak? It seems like, aside from just the flashy stuff we all see, he's got that real steeliness about him too. Yeah, it's his it's his passion for the game. I think I think you, you can you can see it oozes out of him. Um, you can see when he's when he, even when he scores at the weekend, he, he he loves scoring. He loves he loves doing well for for his team. Uh, and he, he's obviously he's obviously really enjoying enjoying playing at the minute. So um, he wears his he wears his heart in his sleeve as it as it as it looks when uh, when the games come around and. Um, yeah, that's 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 a massive it's a massive asset uh, to have the amount of passion that he's got for the game.